Hi, I'm Brent Johnson. And I'm Travis Evans. Today we're at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception in Springfield, Illinois. With us is Mark Gifford. He is the Director of Music and Organist here at the Cathedral. Uh, we were here about a year and a half ago uh, in preparation for the dedication recital of this new Reuter organ. Uh, and we, uh, Mark took us through the instrument and showed us a little bit of it. We didn't play a lot of that because we wanted you to tune in to the dedication recital, which was a couple of weeks after. Uh, that's all long past, but this video is still online and it still gets more views than anything else on our channel. Not not sure why, uh, but apparently you like this organ, you like the church. So uh, today we've come back and we're going to play a little bit of the organ and let you hear it. So uh, Travis is going to play some things, Mark's going to demonstrate a little, and I might even play a little for you. Um, so you know, let's try it out. Ready? So what piece have we got up here? Uh, this is the Toccata Brevis by Daniel Gothrop. Okay, Daniel Gothrop's compo modern composer down in, uh, oh, he's in Idaho now. He's moved out, he used to be in Tennessee. Writes a lot of great stuff. What uh, Toccata Brevis, so just a short Toccata piece. Yep. Um, so I guess we'll just use kind of full organ. Yeah, um, principal chorus, mixtures. Right. So if we're using, here's our principal chorus, and then we'll couple things in from the swell and the choir as well, I assume. It's a nice big full sound. Does he call for 16s? Is it just full chorus? It doesn't really say. Yeah, right. So we can turn them on if we want. There yeah. We All right. So let's hear the piece. So this is a little chorale prelude on the hymn tune Dix, um, arranged by Jan Bender. Okay, so he doesn't give us any... Doesn't no registration. This, so you're just free to do whatever yeah. you want, so let's have some fun. Uh, well, I, this organ's got lovely flutes on it. Um, so this is the great eight-foot and four-foot. What does it sound like there? Yeah, a nice little chipper thing. And yep. If we want to brighten it up, we don't have a two-foot flute. We could couple the choir in. Right, so we can bring... So let's see, um, the two-foot from the choir. Yeah. So you can brighten it up with that and then go back. Yep. All right. That's simple enough. Let's hear that. Okay.
So this is the, the Fantasia from the Fantasia and Fugue in C minor by Bach. Um, so normally just full chorus? Yeah, a plenum, 842. Okay. Um, generally what I do, but... Let's see. Let's see what that sounds like. Just, just on the gray, we have... So there's that. We need to have pedal. This piece where it starts with a big pedal, so here's the 16th Big pedal principle. point, yeah, which is... Which is a big sound, but we can still... We can couple the grade in even and have right. that upper work. But this has got... This has got plenty of upper work as it is. Right. So let's do a, let's do the, the four foot, and then um, go ahead and use our eight foot principle, which is over there. Um, Sixteen foot. I want to hear that trombone. Does that sound like? There we go. That's cool. We can even turn on the open wood and the thirty-two. That gives us that big, big punch and there, right? And so let's bring in some of the choruses here from the other divisions. So, and then even we can uh, go up to the two foot in the great. What does that sound like now in the great with that? Gives you a little more little bite into the bite into the here. Yeah, there we go. That's the kind of that's, that gets their attention. Really starts the right. ground shaking yeah. right from the very beginning. So, all right, great. I want to hear it. Okay.
I guess we should really let you, the person who knows this organ better than anybody, demonstrate a little bit for us. Um, I'm sure you've got some, tons of, of presets here, so um, I want to hear just a little improvisation under something. Give me a hymn tune, so what would you like to try? Holy God, we praise thy name is, is the, 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 the Catholic Church's <laughs> banner song. And what's really great is th there can only be a hundred people in here and they sing it like there's 900. <laughs> so you have to be ready to play to however big the congregation is at any given time. Okay. So you can show us little variations of some of those. Let's start with a basic hymn setting and we'll go from there. Okay. So this organ is uh, bigger than the previous organ. This one's 59 ranks. Before, it wasn't quite as large, but also it was, it was from the 1920s, so it yes. didn't have a lot of colors. It had some nice stops in it, but it had problems speaking into the room, had tuning issues. Well, so it, was, it was built that it sang to itself oh, right. here in the balcony because you accompanied the nuns or the choir people, and back then the church didn't really sing. Well, we're in a whole different century now. And so now we have an organ that's built to sing down the long axis of the church to accompany everything. So you've, and you've just got a lot more colors, a lot, of more, a lot more brightness to sing out in the room. Certainly a lot more reeds uh, that you can play with here. Of every kind. They can be so <laughs> subtle, uh, but they can also be the roaring lion when they need to be, and we do that.
On hearing the organ for the very first time, Frederick Holman said there were two things he wanted to do. Number one, he wanted to play the dedicatory recital, which we were very, very happy that he wanted to do that. But the other thing was, he said he wanted to record his next CD here. And the fascinating part is, he was thinking about doing it somewhere else. But when he heard this organ, the decision was made immediately. And so we put the two together, the dedicatory recital and poetry and pageantry. I said that backwards. It's pageantry and poetry. And there's a link down in the description where you can go purchase the CD now. So now it's my turn. So this is a work by a composer not a lot of people know. It's Florence Beatrice Price. She was the first African-American female composer to really gain any notoriety. She had work played by the Chicago Symphony, one of the first people to do that. Calvert Johnson's put together a great little collection of her works. Um, so this is Adoration, a uh, very simple little piece. So for this, I'm going to use uh, actually the oboe in the swell with the tremolo. And then I need something in the, to accompany it, so I think since we've got the swell strings, it, it asks for the great Dulciana, um, and we don't really have one on here. You could use, um, well, you could use the flute, um, it doesn't have a, that, that early American right. string is yeah. missing from the, because that's just not something we see a lot. But we do have strings in the, in the choir. choir, and I like those a lot. But they're Gimshorn and Gimshorn Celeste. Yeah. With just a soft 16 and 8 in the in the bass. That's going to be great. Um, and then later, he, she changes up a little bit. We go to the, the left hand. And just for fun, I used, uh, I'm going to use the Gedeck. Uh, Which again, from the antiphonal. Right. So just to give us a little contrast, so we've got that against this. Because they don't do anything at the same time. So yeah. And then swell strings, 8, 4, and 16, what a great sound. Um, right. I'm actually going to change things. We're going to couple the swell strings. We will use those uh, at 16, 8, and 4. Fortunately, we've got all the couplers here on this organ, so we can do that. I'll even turn on the 32 to give us a big rumbly. Nice lush. Yeah, yeah we're just big warm. It fills this room. It's right. amazing. Uh, the sound just comes back to you as you hear it. I could even, if I was really excessive, turn on the antiphonal <laughs> strings, and the people down just there would just get it from both directions. Blanket them with, with uh, but Celeste. I, I, for now, we're just going to keep it with that, and then it goes back to a repeat, and, uh, and we'll just, it goes out to the end as it begins. So here is Adoration by Florence B. Price.
Well, thank you for watching today. Travis, thank you for playing. And Mark, thank you for demonstrating this organ and letting us come here and, and uh, hear a little bit of it today. You're welcome. Um, and again, if you want to hear more, there is a CD, Pageantry and Poetry. Frederick Holman, who played the dedication recital, also came back and recorded a CD here. You can find a link down in the description where you can get your own copy, so go down there now. While you're down there, click on the subscribe button. We need more subscribers because that will help us make some money off of these videos. We know you're watching them and enjoying them, so please help us to make more. You can also help us by going to organ.media and clicking on support. We have a special video sponsorship level. Anyone who clicks on that and follows through with the PayPal payment can uh, help us make one video. We have a lot more organs we want to show you. Travis is going to be coming along helping me uh, demonstrate these instruments. Uh, so please subscribe to our channel. If you want to get classical streaming organ music 24 hours a day, you can visit any one of our three stations, organlive.com, Positively Broke, and the Organ Experience. You can find all of that at organ.media. So until next time, I'm Travis Evans. I'm Brent Johnson. Thanks for watching.